Good morning! Today is a Saturday and we're going off to the islands for a horror fire review with the bloggers. Uh, right now we're in town going off for breakfast and Roy's just scratching some tickets for our parking. And we're going off to um, this famous coffee shop for breakfast. Uh, they're famous for their buns, noodles and basically Chinese food. station so this is where you go get suited up so this is the harness harness hello. hello and the trolleys that we're all gonna carry one each and the helmets right so right now we're making our way up to the launching platform so we're gonna take a very short hike oh. So crazy, and we have to carry this trolley. Alright, guys, welcome to Coral Flyer. My name is Glenn. I'm going to give you a short briefing about this uh, your safety in here, um, on the way there, and um, landing platform. First, you're gonna stand up here, and one step down, hold the handle, and sit down on your harness, and lean down. Make sure your position is just like this. Arm straight. Alright, on the way there, at this, you're gonna hold one hand. Not, you're gonna get spinning. Like this one hand. And when you reach on the landing platform, my friend's gonna catch this rope because it swings after you hit the brake. So, uh, sometime. Everybody yeah. ready? Yes. How do you guys feel? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm kinda scared actually. <laughs> See you on the other side. Okay. Bye. Right. Okay, sis, we don't handle. I'll handle. Okay, hold this. Right. One step down. One step down. Move forward a little bit. Oh my god. And then sit down and lean back. One, two, three. Go.
So now we are at the launching uh, landing platform. So these guys are in charge of catching everyone who reaches the brakes. After the zip line, we have to hike back down. Into civilization. Yes, back to civilization. My favorite. I'm in um, Surya with Roy, and we are getting a drink when. Going to Ochado, sort of my favorite place for drink, and now we're waiting for our order. So right now I'm having green milk tea. Uh, it's also called jasmine milk tea. So most of the people who know me, I like jasmine tea or jasmine green tea. Doing blood donation for the first time. How do you feel? Nervous. Okay, ba. You're saving three people's life. So now we are officially organ donors. So no blood donation for me. It doesn't mean that when you sign up as an organ donor, you need to donate today. Usually, it's like a consent after you, you know, you, you die or something. It's like a wish for yourself before you go. So donating organs would be good for you know, the community, the society, so you're doing a part as a donor. Helping someone when they need it after you're born. Yep.
back home. I had such a long day. Can't wait to take a shower because I feel so sticky. I had to change into a different top because it's just, it's just too sunny. We went shopping in Surya. We did some blood donations. I think it's something important that we should be doing. Uh, you know, one pint of blood can actually save three people. So I think doing a blood donation is a good thing. And also I managed to sign up for the organ donor card. I always believe that uh, there's always something to give back to the community or you know just to help some people so I sign up for the organ donor card so what happens is when you sign up the card doesn't mean that you immediately have to donate your organs but basically it's like a consent for after you die they will have to see this card if you are an organ donor so if they see the card means they know that if you're an organ donor and they can actually extract the organs and quickly uh, donate it to someone else who needs it I'm actually quite proud that I signed up for this organ donor thing because I've always liked to help people especially with blood donations I will always attend a blood donation after like every three months so yeah so I think it's a good thing today and also I went to Avimo to shop I bought quite a few things uh, let me show you what I got so I bought these uh, shoe stackers so what you do is basically you put your shoes here and here so basically you are saving space by putting it like this so if you do this this is how much space you're saving it's really cool this costs um, seven ringgit so i think it's pretty affordable this is actually at the section on the inside of avimo so you can ask the shop assistants to actually show you where these things are this is the other thing i got so i bought a diffuser this one costs 58 ringgit 58 ringgit 80 cents so i think it's really affordable because usually diffusers cost over 100 ringgit and for like a small one so I think this is very affordable these are the three things inside the box so basically this thing is for you to stick in here once you've poured this in here so that's all the things I got today I had such a long day today we were at the island at 10 in the morning uh, we departed the jetty at 9.45 so it's about a 15 minute boat ride and we arrive at 10 we just chilled a bit by the beach and then went off to the coral flyer at 11 and then came back, took a break, left the island at 1. We headed off to Surya to do some shopping. So uh, it's quite a productive day and I didn't want to end my vlog here because I'm really tired. I just, I just want to take a shower, get some editing done. I've got quite a few vlogs that are quite backdated. I have a lot of videos that I have edited halfway and it should be up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!